Okay, so if I gave you a piece of paper, a pencil, and no calculator, could you do this basic math problem right here? Well, hopefully you could, and most people should be able to answer this problem, unless, and of course, you haven't uh, yet learned this. But uh, let's go and take a look at the problem. We have 5 and 1 third divided by 2 and 3 fourths. So we are talking about dividing fractions, a very uh, exciting topic indeed. But uh, in actuality, most people do not like fractions. Matter of fact, the typical student expression could be something like this. Fractions, why do we have to deal with fractions? Well, fractions are very important in mathematics, and they don't have to be that difficult. And what we're dealing with here is dividing what we call mixed number fractions. And again, we're not going to use our calculators. So if you can figure this out, go to put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer here in just one second. And uh, if you're a bit confused, no problem. I'll show you exactly step by step how to divide mixed number fractions. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John and uh, I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go to take a look at the answer. Again, we have five and one third divided by two and three fourths. The correct answer is the following, 64 over 33. Now, if you have another answer, because uh, some of you may have uh, wrote your answer um, as a mixed number, uh, and it could be correct, so you'll kind of have to judge for yourself whether you um, have the correct mixed number equivalent. And if you're not even sure what I'm talking about there, I'll explain that in a second. But uh, if you got this answer, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, let's go and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face in A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of dividing mixed number fractions. They'll be very impressed with that indeed. Okay, so uh, for those of you that are a little bit lost or just don't like fractions, listen, I get it, but uh, fractions are not that difficult. What you have to do is just take it one step at a time when you're learning them. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. Now, I did indicate that this problem is um, dividing mixed number fractions. Okay, so this is a mixed number fraction, and so is this. So we need to kind of talk about the type of fractions here uh, real quick. So I have three examples. Let's go ahead and start up with this one here. One half is an example of what we call a proper fraction. Okay, now what makes it a proper fraction? Uh, this is pretty easy. The numerator, which is the top number, is smaller than the bottom number which is the denominator, okay? So this is a uh, proper fraction, things like 3 fourths, et cetera. Now, when we have the reverse, when the numerator is larger than uh, the denominator, these type of fractions are called an improper fraction, an improper fraction. So we could take improper fractions and we can convert them to these type of fractions, which are called mixed number fractions, okay? So we have like a whole number or an integer here and then uh, we have a little fraction off to the side. So this is a mixed number. So we can go from improper fractions to a mixed number and a mixed number fraction to improper fractions. So how do we go from a uh, improper fraction to a mixed number fraction? Pretty easy. Then we take a look at this problem. This is three divided by two. So we simply just take three and we're gonna divide it by two. And let's go and do that division here. So two goes into three, one. One times two is two. Uh, we're going to subtract 2 from 3, so that's 1, so that's going to be remainder 1 or 1 and 1 half, okay, which of course is this uh, fraction here, this mixed number fraction. So to go from here back to improper fraction, we go 2 times 1, right, so that's 2 plus this 1, that's 3 over this 2 there. So I'm kind of quickly going through this, and if you're already a little bit confused, you're like, oh yeah, I kind of need more practice in this. Let me give you a couple of quick suggestions before we continue on. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube, cha uh, YouTube channel on fractions, but to also, you might, you might be interested in my kind of math boot camp uh, for basic math to include fractions. Uh, it's called my Math Foundations course. You'll find a link to it 
in the description below. But uh, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, going from uh, mixed number fractions to improper fractions here in a second, but this is going to be a critical skill in order to do this problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on. And what we want to do here is convert our mixed number fractions when we're doing fraction division or fraction multiplication. We typically want to convert these fractions to uh, improper fractions. Okay, so five and one third is the same thing as 16 thirds. And of course, this is an improper fraction. And let's just review how we did that, right? So it's going to be 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. So we have 16 thirds. And then here, 2 and 3 fourths, this is going to be 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. So this is going to be 11 over 4. Again, if you need more practice uh, with converting mixed number fractions to improper fractions, just kind of follow up on those uh, suggestions that I mentioned just a second ago. All right, now here is our problem. And we're going to focus in on not doing uh, the division problem, 5 and 1 third divided by 2 and 3 fourths, but the equivalent problem, which is, of course, this problem here, 16 uh, thirds divided by 11 fourths. Now, I want you to kind of uh, focus in on this observation of me writing these fraction bars this way. Okay, so I have 16 divided by 3, and notice I'm writing the, uh, my fractions with this angle fraction bar here and here. Now, there's nothing wrong uh, doing that, and a lot of you actually were kind of taught that way and you're comfortable writing your fractions this way. Again, nothing wrong with doing that. However, I'm going to suggest to you that you um, try to write your fractions with a horizontal a fraction bar like so. Okay, it's just going to make your life a lot easier when you do the computations and especially uh, when you're dealing with fractions in algebra. So 16 thirds, I'm going to write this as 16 over 3 divided by 11 fourths or 11 over 4. Okay, so I'm going to take the next step in uh, dividing these two fractions, but before we do that, I want you to take the next step by subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell. You just don't understand the positive impact this has on my YouTube channel. My goal is to try to grow my channel as large as possible and reach as many people as possible that need assistance in mathematics. It's really unfortunate that a lot of people struggle in math, not because they don't have the ability to do math, it's just they're not getting the right instruction, okay? And that's what I'm really passionate about is to try to deliver clear and understandable math instruction. So if you could do me that slight little favor and subscribe, I would look, uh, you know, basically this is the way I would look you know, in the mirror. If I go, boy, these people are subscribing, I would pretty much look like that. Thank you so much. Now back to the problem. Okay, so here is uh, what we have now. We have 16 thirds divided by 11 fourths. Again, we took our uh, mixed number fractions and we uh, rewrote them as improper fractions. And again, we're using these horizontal fraction bars. So now we just have to focus in on what to do next. And what we're going to do is convert this problem from a division problem into a multiplication problem. So when you're dividing fractions, you're going to convert the problem itself uh, from a division problem into a multiplication problem. And the way you do that is you look uh, at the fraction to the right of the division symbol. Okay, in this case, it's 11 fourths. So take this fraction here and flip it upside down. Okay, and that's going to be 4 over 11. So you got to remember this pr uh, procedure. When you're dividing fractions, you're going to convert the problem uh, from division into multiplication by flipping the fraction to the right of the division symbol. So this now is our equivalent problem, okay? 16 third, uh, thirds times 4 elevenths, right? So now we're going to go ahead and talk about how to do this problem. And this is super easy. All right, so when we're uh, multiplying fractions, okay, all we need to do is simply uh, multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So 16 thirds times 4 elevenths is equal to the fraction, uh, the final fraction is going to be 16 times 4 over 3 times 11, okay? Now, before you start multiplying this, you want to get in the habit of looking at these factors. In other words, these numbers, all these numbers are separated by multiplication, so these are uh, uh, factors of these respective, uh, respective excuse me, uh, products. 
So you want to look for opportunities to cross cancel. So for example, this three right here, let's suppose that wasn't the three. Let's suppose this was a two. So if this was a two and here I have my four, I could take that two and divide it into this four two times. In other words, let me kind of show you this here uh, just to make this super clear. If this was a two and I actually, let's suppose I had a two up here, just come on make this uh, example easier. I could just cross cancel these two it twos and I would be left with whatever numbers remain. Okay, so you, before you start multiplying, you wanna scan these numbers and look for common factors. But you know, 11 is prime. There's no uh, 11 uh, up here uh, in the numerator. Three is prime. I don't see anything that could be divisible by three. Four can't go into 11, four can't go into three. So we pretty much have no opportunities to cross cancel. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, do the actual multiplication. So 16 times four is 64. And hopefully that's pretty easy for you to do. And three times 11 is 33. And there you go, there is the final answer. Now I did uh, mention that some of you may uh, uh, took this problem and say, okay, well here is an improper fraction and you might be tempted to turn this into um, a, a mixed number, okay? I'm gonna tell you, do not do this, okay? Do not volunteer, I'll just give you a really great tip. So let's suppose uh, here, I'll do this example again. So three and one half, right? If I wanted you uh, to give me your answer as a mixed number, you would have to take the extra step, take three and divide it by two. So we already kind of talked about that, right? Uh, two goes into three, one. So one times two is two, subtract. So it's one and one half, right? So you would give me the answer one and one half by doing all this extra work here. A lot of you think that you're, um, it's kind of like necessary to express your answer as a mixed number. Now, unless your teacher asks you, okay, do not take this extra step because here is what can happen, all right? And I've seen this like 10 billion times over decades of teaching. Uh, a student would have the right answer here, okay? They did all the work perfectly. Then they went to go uh, convert their improper fraction into a mixed number and they'll write something like one and one third. They'll do this part wrong, then they'll turn in this answer and then I have to write, mark the whole thing wrong you know, for the most part. And then the uh, student comes back and they're like, hey, Mr. Uh, math teacher, why did you take uh, you know, these points off? I had the right answer, look right here, but you turned in this, okay? You didn't have to do that. And it takes extra time, right? And so again, a lot of you out there feel like you must convert your improper fractions back into mixed numbers. Now, I'm not saying you don't know how to do, you don't need to know how to do that. You do need to do that and you know how to do that. And if your teacher asks, uh, uh, for you, you know, to, you know, express your answer as a mixed number, then of course you need to do that. You need to be very careful. However, the main idea is when you are done, always look at your final fractions and make sure they're fully simplified uh, and reduced. Okay. That's why I kind of, uh, took a little extra time here, uh, to, you know, kind of say, Hey, before you start multiplying, look for opportunities to simplify. So you kind of like re reducing the fraction in progress versus coming up with your final answer and then reducing from there. Okay, so I know I kind of talked about a lot of things, but everything that I emphasize comes from, you know, uh, basically years and years and years of working with students and seeing all the common mistakes. Of course, I'm pretty sure I was making all these mistakes way back in the good old 1970s and 80s. Listen, uh, the only way you're gonna get better in anything is to make mistakes, okay? but you don't want to keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again, right? So you want to figure out what you're doing wrong, correct that, and then practice, okay? So watching this video, if you understand it, it that's great. That's the whole point behind it. But if you truly want to develop this as a math skill of your own, you must practice. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.